Welcome to Little Explorers ABC Edition. What letter will we explore today? Get ready, because here we go! Hi guys, welcome to the ABC Edition of Little Explorers. We're going to explore a different letter every week, but let's start with our ABC song to get us started. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, B, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Hope you're singing along at home. Here we go. Today, we're going to talk about the letter P. Polly Porcupine's Painting Prizes by Barbara Derubitus. Polly Porcupine loved painting pictures. She painted every day after school. Polly painted big close-up pictures and she used bright splashes of color. She happily painted pictures of large pink petunias, of enormous purple plums, and of giant red poppies. Her paintings were colorful and creative, but Polly was a very sloppy painter. She would flip her paintbrush and drip paint and spill water. She even dripped and spilled on her own painting. One day, everything went wrong. Polly stepped in the paint. Mama tripped over the water pot and Papa slipped on the drippy papers. Oh, Polly, said Mama, please clean up this mess, then set the table for supper. But look at my beautiful painting, cried Polly. We'll look at it later, Papa replied. It's too drippy now. Polly pouted as she picked strips of pepper off her pizza and popped them in her mouth. Why are you grumpy, asked Papa. You don't appreciate my paintings, Polly replied. You would appreciate them more if they weren't so sloppy, said Papa. Now cheer up, I made your favorite dessert, my perfect peach pie. I don't like peach pie anymore, said Polly. If Papa didn't like her painting, then she didn't like his peach pie. Polly was still grumpy at school the next day. What's the problem, Polly? asked her teacher, Alphabetty. You look a little prickly today, even for a porcupine. I have a question, Polly whispered. Do you like my paintings? Oh, yes, said Alphabetty. They are so colorful and creative. Well, my parents think my paintings are too sloppy, said Polly. Do you think they're too sloppy, asked Alphabetty. Polly sighed. I guess, maybe yes. Alphabetty smiled. Polly, I've been planning something that might interest you, a class art show. An art show, Polly yelped. Yes, said Alphabetty. Do you think you can paint a picture for it? One that's not sloppy? I can try, said Polly. Polly sped home after school. She presented an invitation to her parents. Our class is having an art show, Polly said. I need to start my painting right away. Mama and Papa looked worried. I will try really, really hard not to be sloppy, Polly promised. Polly spread out newspaper. She prepped her paints and she pinned up a piece of paper. Then she dipped her brush in orange paint and held it above the paper. Oops, Polly gasped. A big peach colored splat flopped right onto the middle of the paper. Oh no, Polly cried. I've already ruined my painting. Polly pouted, then she pondered, and poof, an idea popped into her head. I'll make something special out of that peachy splat, she said. Polly painted quickly, but very carefully. She did not flip her brush. She did not spill water. When she dripped a drop of paint, she stopped to wipe it up. Polly had everything cleaned up just before it was time for supper. Then she zipped into the kitchen. She set the table with plates cups, spoons, and napkins. Her parents were impressed and curious. What did you paint, Polly, they asked. Polly smiled. You'll find out at the art show. At school, Polly showed Alphabetty how she had fixed the problem with the splat of paint. Good job, Polly, said Alphabetty. The morning of the show, Polly sprang out of bed. She was very excited. As soon as Mama and Papa were ready, Polly led them to school and right to her painting. said Polly. Mama and Papa were very surprised. Oh, Polly, they said, it's perfect. 
for Polly had painted a picture of a huge piece of Papa's perfect peach pie. The painting wasn't drippy or spotty or splotchy or sloppy. Alpha Betty had given every painting a prize, but Polly's painting had two prizes. What do your prizes say? asked Papa. Polly happily read her prize ribbons aloud. One says, most appetizing painting, and the other says, neatest painting. Polly took the first ribbon and put it on Papa. I apologize for being so grumpy, said Polly. Your peach pie really is my favorite dessert. Papa beamed, and your peach pie is my favorite painting. I hope you feel very proud. Polly Porcupine grinned. Right now, I feel hungry. Let's go home and have some peach pie. And that is precisely what they did. You have been listening to Polly Porcupine's Painting Prizes by Barbara Derubitis. Hi guys, we're going to rock some scarves today. So look around your house and see if you have a light piece of fabric, a scarf from one of your grown-ups, a, a napkin would work as well, a pillowcase, something like that. If not, grab your homemade shaker and you can use that today instead. All right, this one is called Put Your Scarf on Your Head. Put your scarf on your head like this. Put your scarf on your head like that. Put your scarf on your head, whether it's blue, purple, or red. Or put the scarf on your head. Put the scarf on your shoulder like this. Put your scarf on your shoulder like that. Put your scarf on your shoulder. Well, at least it's not a boulder. Oh, put the scarf on your shoulder. Put the scarf on your arm like this. Put the scarf on your arm like that. Put the scarf on your arms, cause what's the harm? Oh, put the scarf on your arm. Put the scarf on your lap like this. Put the scarf on your lap like this. Put the scarf on your lap, it's such a snap. Oh, put the scarf on your lap. Put the scarf on your knee like this. Put your scarf on your knee like that. Put your scarf on your knees, that's what it ought to be. Oh, put the scarf on your knee. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you soon. My Pea Sound Box by Jane Moncure. Little Pea had a box. I will find things that begin with my pea sound, she said. I will put them into my sound box. Little Pea found a poodle and her puppy. Did she put the poodle and the puppy into the box? She did. Then Little Pea found a pig and piglets and a pig pen. Did she put the pig and the piglets into the box with the poodle and the puppy? She did. Little Pea walked down a path to the park. In the park, she saw a peach tree. She put some peaches into her box. Under the peach tree, Little Pea saw a picnic table and a picnic basket. Let's have a picnic, said Little Pea. She opened the picnic basket and found peanuts, pickles, popcorn, and pie. Little Pea and the animals ate until the pig said, I am about to pop. Little Pea put the animals back into the box. She also put back the leftover peanuts, pickles, popcorn, and pie. Now the box was so full, it was about to pop. Then Little Pea saw a pony pulling a cart. Please pull us, she said. The pony pulled them down the path. They saw a porcupine. Little Pea gave the porcupine some popcorn. She put him into the box carefully. He was prickly. The pony pulled them down the path. Soon they saw a peacock. Little Pea gave the peacock some peanuts. Then she put him into the box. Suddenly the pony stopped. A panther was in the path. The pony pranced, the pig, piglets, poodle, puppy, peacock, and porcupine fell out of the box. The panther pounced on the box. He ate up all the peanuts, pickles, peaches, popcorn, and pie. Then he smiled politely. Just then a police officer came down the path. You have found our pet panther, he said. We will take him back to the zoo. Let's take all of my pets to the petting zoo, said Little P. They had a parade all the way to the petting zoo. Here are some of Little P's words. Panther, parade, park, path, peach, peacock, peanut. 
Pickle, picnic, picnic basket. Picnic table, pie, pig, piglet. Pig pen, police officer, pony, poodle, popcorn, porcupine, puppy. You have been listening to My Peace Sound Box by Jane Moncure. Hi guys, this one's called Pop, Pop, Pop. Are you ready? We're going to use our hands for this one. Pop, pop, pop. Pour the corn into the pot. Are you pouring it in? Good job. Pop, pop, pop. Take it, shake it till it's hot. Can you shake it? Pop, pop, pop. Let's lift up the lid. <gasps> What's inside? Pop, pop, popcorn. You ready? We're going to do it one more time. Here we go. Pop, pop, pop. Pour the corn into the pot. Pop, pop, pop. Take it, shake it till it's hot. Pop, pop, pop. Lift up the lid. <gasps> what have you got? Pop, pop, popcorn. Good job, guys. Pete the Cat and the Perfect Pizza Party by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete the Cat loves pizza. Pete the Cat loves parties too. Pete had an idea of what he could do. He would have the perfect pizza party. You're invited to Pete's pizza party. Bring your suits, games, fun, and music. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pizza party. But everyone did not agree. Callie said pepperoni would be just fine, but I really love pretzels on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pretzels? Well, that's something new, but maybe pretzels could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pizza party. Squirrel said pepperoni and pretzels would be just fine, but I really love pistachios on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pistachios? Well, that's something new, but maybe pistachios could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pizza party. Grumpy Toad said pepperoni, pretzels, and pistachios would be just fine. But I really love pickles on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pickles? Well, that's something new. But maybe pickles could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, pizza party. Gus said pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, and pickles would be just fine. But I really love Popcorn on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Popcorn? Well, that's something new. But maybe popcorn could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, pizza party. Alligator said pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickles, and popcorn would be just fine. But I really love papaya on mine. Now Pete and the gang were really puzzled. Papaya? Well, that's something new, but maybe papaya could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, papaya, pizza party. Pete and the gang piled the pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickles, popcorn, and papaya on top. The pizza was so high they had to stop. Ding! The pizza was done. Trying something new might be fun. They all built up the courage to take a first bite. And the pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, papaya pizza was... Out of sight! Dynamite! Just right. In the end, the perfect pizza is a pizza shared with friends. You have been listening to Pete the Cat and the Perfect Pizza Party by Kimberly and James Dean. Hi guys, thanks for joining us today for the Little Explorers ABC Edition Letter P. Hope you had a positively poppin' good time with us today. We started off with Polly Porcupine's Painting Prizes by Barbara Derubitis, published by Kane Press. Polly learned some good lessons in slowing down and learning to be less messy, right? And I loved what she shared with her parents in the end. Were you surprised by her painting in the end? 
Next, we read My Pea Sound Box by Jane Moncure. Did you find anything in your house that has a pea sound you could put in your sound box? Do you have any pretzels, popcorn? Huh? Maybe a papa? This was published by Child's World. And last, we read Pete the Cat and the Perfect Pizza Party by Kimberly and James Dean, published by Harper Collins Children's. Would you have eaten that pizza? And what would you, what pea item would you have brought? Would it have been the pepperoni, the papaya, the pistachios, the pretzels, the popcorn? What would you have put on that pea pizza for Pete? Thanks so much for joining us. And we're going to do one last thing. We're going to trace our letter today. Are you ready? So this is the big P. It is a straight letter down with a half circle around the top. And the little letter P is exactly the same, just smaller. Thank you. Thanks for a poppin' good time today. If you are following along with your letter map at home, we are going to color in the letter P. And I have chosen green to color in my letter P. What color will you choose for yours at home? Thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll see you for another letter soon.